Hi, and thanks for watching. This video shows how to set up sales tax setup so you can be sure you're calculating taxes correctly on transactions. We'll see how to set up a tax group to assign to items that you buy and sell to indicate that you or your customer pay sales tax on the items. Set up tax area codes that calculate sales tax on sales and purchase documents based on the customer or vendor. Apply tax area codes to customers and vendors manually. These processes require general ledger accounts for tracking taxes on receivables and payables. We're using the Contaso USA dataset that comes with financials, so those accounts are ready for us. We'll start by finding the Assisted Setup Guide on the Business Manager Role Center. We'll search for Assisted Setup in the Search for Pages and Reports field, and then choose the link. Okay, let's take a look. The guide creates a tax group called Taxable. We'll assign this group to the taxable items that we buy or sell. That's a separate process, so we won't see it in this video. Next, we'll specify the general ledger accounts we'll use to track the tax we're owed for sales and the tax we're paying for items we purchase. These are often accounts like sales tax payable and tax expenses. Now, we'll set up a tax area code. We'll assign these to customers and vendors later. When we bill or buy from businesses with addresses in the city, county, or state specified for the tax area code, Financials applies the tax rate to sales or purchase documents. We don't have to specify all three, but sales taxes are often a combination of city, county, and state. We'll use the city of Fargo with a rate of 2% in Cass County at 0.5% and a state tax for North Dakota at 5%. Financials suggests a name, Fargo ND. We can change it as long as we keep it unique. We're almost there. We need to apply the tax area code to our customers and vendors. We'll choose the checkboxes, and when we choose Finish, a filter window lets us assign the tax area code. The last step is to make sure that this tax rate applies only to the city of Fargo. In the Where field, we'll choose City, then Fargo. We'll do that for customers and vendors. That's all there is to it. Now, when we create sales or purchasing documents, Financials calculates sales tax based on the tax area codes that we just assigned to customers and vendors. The Setup Sales Tax Assisted Setup is a great way to quickly get started. But what if we need to change something? For example, if we add new customers or buy from new vendors? What if a jurisdiction's boundaries change? Go to the Customers or Vendors list and choose Assign Tax Area. Now choose the tax area code and criteria to specify the businesses to apply it to. Thanks for watching this video about how to automate sales tax calculations for sales and purchase documents. We've just seen how easy it is to automate the process by using the Setup Sales Tax Assistant Setup. Quickly, we can apply updates.